hey guys mikey here welcome back to my channel so this month we will be starting a new tutorial series so i'll be focusing on the data visualization part because it's equally important as the data analysis so for the first few days we will be focusing on various features offered by the ggplot2 package today we will be just looking at the qplot function so that's an alternative function for plotting we have within the ggplot package other than the ggplot function itself so let's get into it so first of all we need to install the ggplot2 package so here gg is a short form of grammar of graphics so this package allows you to create amazing and even very complex plots to represent your data and i feel it's one of the most important package you need to know if you have to represent your data effectively so let's install it okay i already have it so i just called it and now let's get a sample data set so as you know r itself has a lot of sample data set within it so like the ones like the titanic or the iris or the empty cars data set so you can just use the data function to call the data set and then you can use all the data available within that data set so let's use the trees data set for now i think it's data about uh some blackberry or mulberry tree so let's see what all it has so yeah it has mainly three columns so for the girth height and volume so here using the cube plot let's try plotting the height versus volume so the format here is uh you need to have your x here y here and you need to have your data frame i mean the data set listed here so if you plot this so this is how the data look like and we can add a lot of features here for example we can change the geometry here using the geom function so let's say if you want to be line so now the points change to line so yeah uh, also if you in case if you want both line and points as well you can have both of them if you run this so you can have the points as well as line similar way you can play around with let's say you want to change the color to the value of the girth so this changes the color similar way you can also play around with the size so if you want everything the size to be based on the height yeah this don't make real sense but yeah you can you can do that as well maybe yeah you don't this yeah this looks way better you also have option for shape but in this case it really don't matter that much yeah because it's a continuous variable so you can even force it to work but yeah it still don't make much sense because we have that many variables here and we can represent only the first six so yeah it's not advisable but if you have something like groups or categorical variables it can be very useful so similarly in case if you don't have a data set maybe an easier way to understand is maybe let's say you you just create and create two vectors x and y so y can be something like x to the power of four so you can just use the uh it's q plot qplot function and plotted okay yeah we need to run this yeah if you plot it you can get the results of x and y so yeah like i mentioned just be careful here it's x y and then the data and you have a lot of function so yeah i hope you found this video helpful we will look more in depth into various other options within the ggplot package as well as other important functions and things like how to plot multiple graphs or how to visualize things in a better way to create publishable quality graphs so stay tuned i'll be posting videos daily so i'll catch you in the next video also make sure to like and subscribe if you are finding value from this channel
Ciao.